On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new battle rifle, the DTIR 3006. And we'll also be bringing along our Jack Thumper while we try to unlock the hidden aftermarket part camo. Let's go test it out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't have a very great first impression with this gun. It just kind of seemed uh, forgettable while I was leveling it up. It didn't really seem like anything stood out much with it. Like I was literally just looking at the gun in the gunsmith and I couldn't even tell you what the name of it is. It's like named like a monitor where it's just a bunch of random numbers and letters. But I think I can say the same thing about the new LMG added in with this season where I wasn't very impressed with it upon like first use and getting it leveled up. But after going through and testing it and just using it a bit more, it's now one of my favorite guns in this game. So I'm hoping that this marksman rifle, or wait, is it a battle rifle? I don't even know. But either way, I'm hoping I can have the same thing happen with this. But I think we already might be getting to this a little too late because this thing was absolutely dominating in Warzone and it's already received a nerf to a lot of its damage. And I'm almost positive that affects the damage that it's going to do here in zombies. But it was doing pretty decent against some tier one zombies here in tier two. It looks like it can kill. It takes just a little bit. And honestly, this kind of just seems like a, a diet assault rifle. I don't see anything uh, battle rifle-y about this or marksman rifle-y. I don't know the difference. And as for our aftermarket part camo, oh wait, this is actually working in zombies. When they first added in the Jack Thumper, you actually could not see the aftermarket part in zombies. It would still work and you would still get the different ammunition type, but it just loaded in like the normal RGL model. Does this shoot further now? That goes pretty far. I'm sure it still does the same amount of damage, right? Ooh, wait a minute. That's not really doing a whole lot. I hope they didn't make this worse. But for our aftermarket part camo, we need to get 7,000 kills with an aftermarket part, either a conversion kit or just an aftermarket part attachment on a weapon and get 7,000 kills in zombies. It doesn't have to all be in the same game. It's just all collectively. So I'm not sure how far I am with it currently. I probably have like a little bit, but if that seems like too many kills for you and you'd rather do it in multiplayer, you gotta get a thousand kills there, which I think would probably take a bit longer. And shout out to Jake who let me know over on Twitter that this camo even existed, so thank you. But why don't I quit my yapping and try this out over here in tier three against some tier three zombies. Against non-armored zombies is doing all right. It's doing okay. This is really uh, starting to get on my nerves, though, that somebody's Scorcher is constantly going off in my ear. But now let's see against the fully armored zombie. Now that they're distracted, can I break his armor at all? It's doing, like, the smallest amount of damage. You can barely see it on his health bar. Well, that ain't gonna stop us. We finally broke his helmet. Ah, uh, the damage. Nothing to write home about right now, but at least it's, like, a visible amount of damage. Like, I could probably take out a tier 3 zombie, but it would take all my ammo. But uh, let's go ahead and get out of here before they mess me up. Let's take it nice and slow and ease into this game with a tier 2 bounty. And let's also go ahead and get this to pack a punch 3 in legendary. So it looks like our mag size goes from 40 to 80, and we have 720 bullets in reserve, so 800 bullets total. And what about our reload speed? Uh, it doesn't really seem to have too much hustle to it. Now with speed cola. Give it a few shots, hit the reload. Still seems a bit slow for speed call. But we'll eventually be throwing MAGA holding on this anyway, so reload, not that important to me at the moment. How's the damage looking on this mimic? Hello? Even though we're here, can I at least see your health bar? Oh, you're already almost dead. See ya. Maybe the Warzone nerfs actually don't affect zombies. I'm like 100% positive the multiplayer ones do. But I don't know if they all like share the same damage values throughout every mode now. I'm, st I'm, I'm starting to confuse myself. Oh, well, either way, the damage is already looking pretty nice to me. Let's just do one more bounty to make sure we got enough cash going into tier three. Sorry, Mimic. We got to take out your entire species. Lele. I'm only getting pack one crystals. Hold on. Let me accidentally throw a thermite. Look at all these pack one crystals that I've already acquired here. Can I get something else? I guess it's better than uncommon aether tools, but not by much. Fucking idiot. Get off the road. You're stupid. Get the hell out of my way. I am definitely bringing this up with your insurance, buddy. Oh, you're gonna try to hit me again? No. Uh-uh. We gotta get people like that off the road. But in addition to our aftermarket part camo, I want to get all the camos done for this battle rifle. And one of those camo challenges is to take out 10 disciples. And what disciple better to start with than the Stormcaller? And we can actually get a, a nice little test of its damage. Can we break his mask? Oh, we did. Actually didn't take that long. Yeah, zombies go over to the decoy. Idiots follow that. I'm gonna throw another one. And he's using the power of Zeus on me. That ain't gonna help you. You ain't safe. 
I'm gonna need you to go ahead and stop trying to heal as well. And what is it doing against all of his uh, little zombie friends? I still take him out pretty nicely. We're not here for all you zombies. You guys need to go away. Why is my own brain rotted zombie trying to hit me? Do you not see all the other zombies around you? Jeez, does anyone here think? Oh, we already don't have that much damage on him. These zombies distracted me too much. He's over here siphoning off health. It's actually not doing a whole lot, like, per shot. Uh, no, we're getting there. We got him less than half now. Get our Aether Shroud and see if we can tack on some damage here. He's healing through my Aether Shroud. Do, do we just not respect the Aether Shroud anymore? Have zombies figured out what it is? They're like, oh, big blue man over here. I can actually see him. Let's hit him. And now the Scorcher thing's back in my face. I'm starting to get pissed, but he's almost dead. Let's try to take him out before our gas mask expires. He, he's like even acting like we're not here now. Did Aether Shroud just invert? Actually, you know what? That's probably good. That's probably for the best. And now maybe all the vultures over in tier three will let me get a bounty. I guess no bounties in sight, but we can just go ahead and do an outlast. I'll take what I can get. And I was going to go ahead and wait until after I fought an abomination to use our Mago holding, but I don't care. I'm popping it right now. Same with our dead wire detonators. Now I just want to kill. Here's another disciple for our camo challenge. What else do we need to do? Oh, we need to get 50 merc kills. And yeah, we'll get to that. And there is only 17 minutes left in this game until the Aether Storm comes in and I haven't even sniffed a tier 3 bounty. There's too many people in here with Scorchers snagging them from me. So I'm about to pitch a tent right here in this room and hopefully one will spawn. Because that's our only hope. No way this guy's doing the same thing. Get the fuck out of here, dude. This is not Black Friday. I already have this on layaway. You need to dip. Skedaddle. He's literally laying down right on it, shaking his head no at me. Yes. Yes. I want it too. You have a Scorcher. You don't need to be sitting here. I'm actually going to lose my shit if he grabs this before I do. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stare at this table. <gasps> Ooh, we got it. Frame one. Yeah, fly away, green boy. I was actually just preemptively getting pressed that he's going to take that from me. I didn't even get the abomination I was looking for, but a disciple, at least it'll help us with our camos. Yeah, come here. I need you to die. Are disciples just like immune to this gun or what? This is like the slowest disciple killer I've ever, ever seen. Like it can kill them. Just, it's going to take you a bit. They're going to, they're going to make you work for it. Get out of here. And give me some better loot, please. This game is a struggle right now. I'm thinking they just might need to add in some Heelys or something. Cause there's no way I can get a contract if I don't got a Scorcher. I need something to be able to scoot my ass around here in tier three and have a chance to grab a contract from these dudes. There's just way too many people. I've been sitting in this house for so long. I, I want to leave and go do something else. If we we're not going to get an abomination. I know the second I walk away, it's going to spawn in here. No way. No way. I actually just called it. The second I leave the building, it spawns in. I swear, if anyone gets this before me, I'm going to punch you in the fucking mouth. You stay away. Oh, please be an abomination. A mangler. I've had it up to here, mangler. You have no idea the kind of day I'm having. Shit's about to get real bad for you. Or maybe not, because he can still see me through the Aether Shroud. Why? The amount of disrespect this game is giving me right now. Don't appreciate it one bit. No, 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 no. Oh, the backdoor bandit. You got to be kidding me. That's a good name, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, the storm's already on its way. I still haven't gotten an HVT abomination. I, I've been able to only be able to get my hands on two bounty contracts. We're going to have to just fight a normal one for right now. Let's see if we can take them out. This has been like the worst experience in tier three I've had in a minute. I have never had to compete with other players this much. Oh, we already got one of his faces broken. There you go. This should be second face, hopefully. Nope. Zombies got to me a little bit there. Maybe. Did he even hit me? Or was that full laser? Whatever. Don't care. Second face is about to happen. One of these bad boys is gonna go. You're already at half health. It's gotta be prime to bust. We've edged this face for too long. There we go. Just need one more and this laser should help. Please also laser all your uh, zombie friends too. Mimic. I really need you to stay away. I have zero patience for mimics. None. They're all degenerates. Ooh. That one's gotta hurt. Gotta be concussed. Please let me kill him. There we go. Did she drop me anything? Of course not. Is there any bounties? Oh, there is one. Can I even get to it though? The storm is just now hitting tier three. 
Come on. One last chance at a HVT abomination, please. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's going to be way in the storm. I think we might just have to cut our losses and, and fight it in the next game. I can't believe how much this game's toying with me. So I guess let's just uh, shift gears and try to get at least a little bit of progress on our aftermarket part camo. And I'm going to do that in the Dr. Jensen x mission. But a little birdie told me that this Dr. Jensen mission might have gotten nerfed. And by a little birdie, I mean somebody in stream chat. So we're going to go and uh, see if the mission actually did get nerfed. It would seem weird to nerf it this late into the game, but we also got updated Orion in the last month of this game in the next game that Orion wasn't even the mastery camo in. So anything is possible. From what they were telling me, apparently in this mission, what people would always do is just get to that final exfil part right over there by the helicopter. And you just be able to kill zombies for the entire duration that this mission goes on, which is 45 minutes. But from what I've heard is that mercs also spawn in now, and that takes all the attention away from you for the zombies. And they go and try to hunt down all the mercs instead. So you can't just sit on top of the helipad anymore and get the kills, but you know, maybe, maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're just messing with me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Game? Game? No way. Actually, if you're, if you're gonna go ahead and disconnect me, do it. I gotta pee. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll take it down. Awesome. Is the, is the game gonna work or not? Make up your mind. Nothing's moving, but I can still crawl around. This is just awesome. Actually, it would be awesome if it disconnected me and I kept all my stuff. Oh, there it goes. Lost connection. Do I keep... I don't. I keep nothing. Except, I guess, uh, my containment level, but I don't care about that. I think I know what's going on here. We failed to take into account this weapon's secret pack-a-punch ability, which apparently is giving me the worst luck possible. And the only way that we can break this curse is if I go ahead and get the rest of these camos done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock those out. And then we'll finally be able to take on that abomination. I think the Merc murder is complete. Let's go. The disciples have been dealt with. Did we break the curse? Is this going to be an abomination? Let's go. It only took almost two hours. This has been like hunting Sasquatch. And I think our luck is changing. He's right next to the Wonder Fizz too. Let me get all these. And now we can finally take this for a spin against him. Come here. I've been waiting all day for this. Oh, and he don't even see us. This is perfect. It's almost like they're giving us infinite Aether Shroud. Oh, and he went to go shoot a laser there. A little too late, buddy. Face is already gone. And he already forgot we were here. Nope. No, he didn't. Maybe he's just giving us a little bit of a head start. But I'll take that. Now, let's get that other face of yours broken. Come on. There we go. Here's the laser. You know what? Let's focus on the middle. The right one's already kind of weak. The middle one should break here. Hopefully. No. Wow. Okay. You're, you're a tough cookie. There it is. And all the zombies here are ignoring me too. Something's not right today. Something's in the air. Oh, now nah, they're slowly figuring it out. But maybe we can just end it right here. Aether Shroud? Nope. But the Aether Shroud let me keep shooting my gun while I was on the ground for a little bit there. New strat. Be dumb and use it. Oh, wait. It even fully used my Aether Shroud. I still got it. Okay. We might have just hit a frame perfect field upgrade. We did have to use a self revive, but possibly new tech. And we took him out. That uh, was not as fast as I would like it to be. A little anticlimactic, honestly. Now we can finally mess around with this Jack Thumper a bit more. I just got to get this pack a punch and then we can go test out the Dr. Jensen mission again. As for the damage, though, on the Jack Thumper slugs, now that the aftermarket part's actually working in here, it does not seem to go on anywhere. And it's still just as nasty with dead wire detonators. I'm coming, Dr. Jensen. All right, now uh, all you got to do is not crash on me, game. I really just want to see if this has been nerfed. And then side quest, get our aftermarket part camo. And I'm about to be so upset if this camo does not look good. But the way things have been going today, it probably is not going to look that great. I don't got time for zombies or mercs. All of you, get out of my way. I just want to get to the end. Oh no, you're going to try to ambush me? Guess what? Rocket to the mouth. Oh, you're you're a big dude with an LMG? Guess what? Rocket to the mouth. You already know the drill sergeant. Oh, drill sergeant. What's going on, Jensen? Go ahead and uh, finish up so we can get out of here. Oh, we got fully kitted out. We didn't even have to get through this. 7,000 kills with the conversion kit equipped. I definitely did not get 7,000 kills in the last two games we played. So 
Whatever I've been using must have had an aftermarket part on it. That was way faster than I thought. Maybe that new underbarrel for the LMG, or I guess it's for a bunch of other weapons, but I was using it with the LMG. Maybe that counts as an aftermarket part. I don't have the logo or anything next to it, but we got it unlocked, and that's really been the main weapon I've been using. That and the buffed reclaimers. Our helicopter's on the way. All right, Dr. Jensen's getting in. I'm still seeing zombies spawn, and they are jumping up here. Is it the same rate as it was before, though? I feel like it's gotta be. If not, only like slightly less zombies. I've not seen any marks. Oh wait, no, the zombies are starting to pick up. Yeah, I think we're good. Who said they nerfed this? Why would you lie to me? Oh yeah, they did not stop the zombie spawns at all. There is still a lot of them and no mercs in sight. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this has not been nerfed and this would be a good way to get all your aftermarket part kills or just kills in general. You know, go for your prestige camos, do what you want. Because this method still pretty good but i'm getting the hell out of here now where even is this camo events no special no oh this is it it's in classic uh, it's not terrible it's also not great i could go without uh the jack logo every two seconds on here or every two inches but i like that you can add on like the the nice 3d printed look to a lot of guns Let's go look at it in game. So this is what our camo looks like on our battle rifle. And uh, I like it in theory. Like I said, the 3D looking, the 3D printed looking parts on it, like all the white secondary color is sweet. I really like the carbon fiber looking part of it on the main part of the camo. I just don't like how much the uh, Jack logo is all over everything. I think we could uh, probably get rid of a few of those. And when we look at the other side of the gun, they're upside down too. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you put it on an aftermarket part. It just, it kind of looks goofy. I'm not going to lie. It, it's, it's a bit weird. It almost looks like a, a texture glitch. Like it's not supposed to look like this at all. So after all that chaos, that was us testing out our DTI... R? Yeah, DTIR 3006. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's definitely better than I was giving it credit for, at least like after my first impression, after leveling up the weapon. It can do well in tier three and against just like normal elites, but every time I fought like a bounty or a boss, it, it could kill them, but it did it very slowly. Like you could just use basically whatever, any other weapon and take things out way faster than what this did. Like it's not a bad weapon, but it's just not great either. It's, it's, really mid actually so it's a little disappointing because this is going to be one of the last weapons that we get added into this game but at least we still have some more aftermarket parts and stuff to look forward to but i think that about does it for me today i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later